but I think it's across the board. I think people need to understand that in life you will get what you deserve. And the challenge in that, the challenge that I pose to you today is what do you deserve? Is it what you want? Is it what you need? Because ultimately what you deserve is the effort that you're putting in the work that you're putting in. That's what determines what you deserve, right? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. As always, I'm your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ah, That's right. This is the Sales Wolves podcast. This is episode 118, and this one's going to be real brief, but it's something that's been on my mind this entire week, and I wanted to put it in your mind for the next few days. And that is this idea of what you get. You do not get what you want. You don't even get what you need in life. You will ultimately get what you deserve. And I think that's an extremely important message for everyone, but there seems to be so much stuff in the media about millennials and about this entitlement issue that millennials allegedly or supposedly face. But I think it's across the board. I think people need to understand that in life you will get what you deserve. And the challenge in that, the challenge that I pose to you today is what do you deserve? Is it what you want? Is it what you need? Because ultimately what you deserve is the effort that you're putting in the work that you're putting in. That's what determines what you deserve, right? And so if you want an answer, if you need an answer, the way to deserve an answer is by asking a question and by asking that question over and over and over again, that puts you in a position to deserve an answer. Just because you want an answer doesn't mean you should get it. Just because you need an answer doesn't even mean that you get it. But by putting forth the effort, by having the initiative to ask the question and to ask the question, ask the question, ask the question. Now you are in a position where you can deserve to get an answer. And it kind of, for me, goes back to this idea of it's better to give than to receive. And if you think about that, it's better to give than to receive. Well, what does that really mean? How does that play out in my life? Well, by giving, you're putting yourself in a position to receive. The act of giving, the act of saying, like, I'm willing to give, this may be effort, this may be work, this may be time, this may be money, this may be energy that you're putting into something, but the act of giving puts you in a position to receive. So again, as you look at your life, as you look at this year, 2019, as you look at today, did your actions match your ambitions? Did what you do, what you did today, what you did yesterday, Does it line up to what you want in your life? Does it even line up to what you need in your life? Everyone has those necessities. They have the things that they need to survive and they need to thrive. But do your actions match that? Because that'll ultimately clue you in to what you deserve. And then the best part about this is when you have done the work, when you have done what's required, when you have put in massive effort and you do get the reward, you do get what you want, you do get what you need, but it's also what you deserve because of the effort put in. It just feels so much better. Like for me, getting a financial reward that I didn't deserve would make me extremely uncomfortable. It'd make me extremely uncomfortable to receive something that I knew in my heart of hearts, I didn't really earn that I didn't really deserve. 
And so in order for me to be at peace, and I would challenge you in that in order for you to be at peace and for order for you to be happy and in order for you to live your best life, you have to do the things that will get you what you deserve, that will get you what you have earned. And that to me is the way you look back and at your life and you ultimately find fulfillment. You know, the Tony Robbins quote, success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. To me, that means success without earning it is the ultimate failure. Success without deserving it is the ultimate failure. Because if you achieve those things, if you get those things, if you attain those things, but you didn't deserve it, you didn't earn it, then you won't have the fulfillment in receiving it. And so guys, as we close this quick sales wheels podcast episode 118 today, I just challenge you to look at every single day and look at the things that you're doing. Look at the activity, look at the action, look at the effort on a daily basis and ask yourself is what I did today. Is what I'm going to do today line up with the things that I want and need? And ultimately that will tell you whether or not you deserved it. With that, this is the Sales Wolves Podcast, episode 118. As always, I am your host, Tyler Harris, and I am a sales wolf. Ow!